I love that the emotional storylines are really driving the show this week, bringing us on a wild voyage to some very surprising and affecting areas. Even though the season 3 finale isn't the most bizarre episode, the first scene of the episode shows Homelander looking for his son Ryan, who has been having a difficult time lately. Ryan is eager for the affection of a legal dad after Butcher rejected him earlier in the season. As a result, it comes as no surprise that Ryan gives in when Homelander appeals to that damaged part of him, abandoning his Kara Mallory and taking off with his psychotic bio dad. Unbeknownst to Ryan, his father is not well liked by the rest of the world. Vought's stock fell when Starlight aired Homelander's ominous tirade at the conclusion of the previous episode, and a large group of protesters set up camp outside Vought Tower to call for the release of the detained Queen Maeve. CEO Ashley of Vought and the Deep, out of concern for what could occur if Maeve is permitted to tell her truth, decide to relocate Maeve to a safe area. Maeve quickly overcomes her bodyguards and escapes thanks to the show's resident moron's stupid maneuver. After last episode's Woods fight with Mindstorm, Butcher, Huey and Soldier Boy make their way back to the city with our soup hunters. Butcher knocks Huey out as the group pulls into a gas station, then takes off. After realizing that Temp V is lethal, Butcher decided to protect Huey, his adopted younger sibling, in this bitterly cold yet ultimately loving way. Huey is later picked up by Starlight from the petrol station and informed of the truth of the Temp V. Huey apologizes for being a jerk, and Starlight accepts his apology. Although they aren't technically back together, it appears that Hashtag Hughlight has a future. Huey and Starlight plan with the rest of their squad, which includes Mother's Milk, Frenchie, and Kimiko, after they arrive in New York. Maeve finds her way to the crew's hideaway and lends a helping hand sort of, by providing some much-needed muscle. The Russians developed the nerve agent Novichok to incapacitate Soldier Boy, and now that Frenchie has access to it, the boys want to use it to kill him, even if it means letting Homelander go free. However, Maeve is determined to use Soldier Boy to kill Homelander. As a result, she tosses the Novichok out the window. Butcher and Soldier Boy arrive and interrupt the team's discussion by stating their intention to go to Vought Tower and destroy Homelander. Starlight. Huey and pretty much everyone else passionately reject this plan since Soldier Boy would cause collateral damage to thousands of innocent individuals within that skyscraper. Soldier Boy and Butcher go to Vought after capturing Huey, Starlight, M.M., Kimiko, and Frenchie in a locked safe with Maeve's assistance. Starlight eventually succeeds in blasting her way out of the safe, and the boys rush to the tower with a Hail Mary scheme to increase the production of Novichok in the Vought lab and kill Soldier Boy. Black Noir comes to Homelander's side and prepares to battle Soldier Boy as the boys fly over town. However, he will have to handle one super at a time. When Noir acknowledges that he knew Soldier Boy was his father all along in response to Homelander's question, Homelander kills him. Homelander made a poor decision since he quickly finds himself in a confrontation with Soldier Boy and a butcher who is armed with a V and has no support. Soldier Boy's fatherly impulses are stirred by Homelander, who begs him to fight beside him and introduces him to his grandson Ryan. For a while, Soldier Boy appears like he might actually reunite with his family. Soldier Boy, however, calls Homelander a wimp and decides to beat him down after witnessing him weep. They engage in combat father and son squabbling in the bright lights of the Vought newsroom with diplomacy off the table. In order to permanently blow Homelander's abilities away, Soldier Boy takes the upper hand. However, there is a problem. Ryan is present. Butcher must decide whether to save Ryan and let Homelander go free, or whether to let Ryan perish to satisfy his need for vengeance. While Huey sneaks into the control room and escapes the building, Butcher decides to use the light, utilizing his laser eyes to knock Soldier Boy off Homelander just in time for Starlight and Maeve to enter the fray. While Starlight, Butcher, M.M., and Kimiko battle Soldier Boy, Homelander and Maeve continue to beat the living daylights out of one another. However, Soldier Boy is simply too powerful. Huey, who is wrestling with his own conundrum, is watching from the control room as he moves closer to killing Starlight. He discovered a vial of Temp V earlier in the episode at the safe house. So, would he put his life in danger by shooting up and teleporting in to save Starlight? Or will he put his ego to the side and assist Starlight in saving herself? Similar to Butcher, Huey opts for the bright. Starlight was given the ability to compete with Soldier Boy by simply turning up every light source in the newsroom. Soldier Boy is restrained and given a dosage of the Novichok Frenchie just completed making by Starlight. Butcher, M.M., and Kimiko. But when Soldier Boy fights back and is ready to bomb them all to kingdom come, Time is running out, just as he's ready to do it. Maeve takes a difficult choice of her own and decides to assault Soldier Boy instead of continuing her revenge against Homelander. As Soldier Boy explodes into a massive mushroom cloud, Maeve sends them both flying out the window. Maeve and Soldier Boy are thought to be dead, but Homelander and Ryan manage to flee. When we finally get up with the boys, we discover that Maeve just lost her abilities in the explosion and did not actually perish. After seeing Alina, her ex-girlfriend, Maeve intends to leave town and live a tranquil life apart from Vought. Well done, she. That will certainly work out. Soldier Boy, who has been taken back into custody and is being guarded by a bitter and shattered Agent Mallory, 
is also still alive. The episode's end scene hints a significant plot point for season 4. Previously, Homelander had instructed the Deep to execute the American vice presidential candidate as a sign of allegiance. The significance of it wasn't immediately apparent, but a news report puts everything into perspective when we learn that Homelander ally Newman has been chosen as the new VP candidate. One can only conclude that if she wins the election, she will quickly take the presidency as a result of a presidential accident. Homelander introduces Ryan to the outer world in the finale's frightening scenario outside of Vought. The super blasts the leftist demonstrator on the spot when he calls Homelander out and accidentally hits Ryan. The crowd breaks into cheers after a brief moment of quiet. Ryan, a poor young boy who succumbs to his father's indoctrination and basks in the admiration of the Homelander zealots, breaks my heart into a million pieces. I'll probably spend the upcoming year gazing up at the sky in anticipation of the many balls that the season 3 finale throws into the air coming down in season 4. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.